everybody, welcome back to CD Explores. In this episode, we're going to share with you a great location on the North Cornish coast for a staycation. If you want to escape the busy crowds of Newquay, somewhere nice and rejuvenating but still beaches and cafes, an up and coming little village, then this is a spot for you. It's Morgan Porth and we're staying up there. Welcome back to Cornwall. This is another staycation vlog. This time we're in the beautiful village of Morgan Porth and we are staying at Budruffin Hotel and Spa. And this view looks spectacular and you're gonna be impressed because this is actually our bedroom view. the tranquility space and it's really lovely in here like I love the design that they have in here all these funky chairs but I want to go out there because that was an amazing view of Morgan Porth and I like the look of the eggshell chair so I'm gonna go and eat outside because it's absolutely boiling inside we've got a menu from the bar first impressions really good it is so tranquil here I mean there's nobody out on this terrace with us but even so it is just so peaceful we have the most perfect February weather honestly that sun is actually warm on my face the tide is out, Morgan Porth Beach looks absolutely perfect. The waves are rolling in and we can hear birds, just a little bit of wind, pretty much can't hear anything else. Like this is just so relaxing. We've just ordered some bar food, I've got a sandwich and Corey has gotten some little sides. And that's gonna tie us over for a bit because we have dinner later. But next we're gonna go to a spa. So the building is actually, it feels like quite an old building, but they've completely modernised the interior. The actual structure of the building, I think, is quite similar to when it was first built. It's like a lot of brickwork and stuff, but the interior and the way that they've sort of made the most of this viewpoint over Morgan Porth is so well done. But we're excited to check out the rest of the hotel because I've seen snippets of the spa and it looks incredible. But yeah, it is all about this incredible view. Oh, this is lovely. We are spa ready and we're going to head down to the basement floor, mm -hmm. which is on a hill, so it's actually the ground floor, and we're going to go to the spa. There's lots of outdoor spaces around here, and indoor spaces, a few are closed. I think that's because we're here in winter, but we have just found the gym, and I believe they do early morning classes every day for free. I think tomorrow is yoga, so we may go. So there is a pool area, but that was more like for kids, so we have come to the spa, which you can also use as a guest here. A little bit more tranquil in here, it's got like a nice warm bath, pool over there, I can see in some saunas and a brilliant view. Look at this. We're going to get an early sunset here because there is a cloud bank on the horizon, which is sometimes the case here in Cornwall. Um, but it's a five o'clock sunset, so we're going to enjoy it. It's a great way to sort of while away the hours until our dinner reservation later, sitting in the spa with like bubbles going on and all these seats and just looking out at this view. It's so gorgeous. And from here, we get a good perspective of the whole hotel as well. Um, and I might actually just quickly pop the drone up to give you a bit of perspective of the size of this place. That's a nice little spa break, but we're gonna go back to our room because I would like to kind of Check the sunset from the comfort of our bedroom. <sighs> Finally, it's dinner time. We're gonna go downstairs, check out some more of the hotel. Next is the Herring restaurant. We have a booking for dinner. I'm gonna see if we can get in early though, because we are very hungry. We are having a free course dinner and they've just brought out our starter and it's a selection of tapas style food. We have some beautiful dips. This looks really yummy. It's a tempura broccoli on some noodles. The waiter was so informative. He explained every single dish, every single ingredient. So it looks beautiful. I'm very excited to tuck in. It's 
So that was absolutely delicious. We're both stuffed and we're gonna relax in this beautiful bed, ready for the morning. But we highly recommend the Herring restaurant. They really accommodated us being plant-based and they gave us a delicious free course menu. That was probably some of the best vegan food we've had in a very long time. So thumbs up from us. Good morning. We are taking a little walk down to the beach now because we are probably about five minutes away. It's just straight down the hill from the hotel and there's a pathway that leads directly to the beach. So we're gonna make the most of it before we go back to the hotel for a bit of breakfast and possibly yoga on a full stomach. It's a beautiful morning and the waves are out again. We're quite lucky with the tide because I know Morgan Porth, um, the tide does come right in and you kind of like, lose most of the beach but it's it's good now so we're gonna go and check it out well we're down on the beach and the sun is just peeking over now we're getting some beautiful colors on the hills around and um, we have a half moon still in the sky and the tide is out so it's a beautiful time to come down to the beach we did want to show you guys a little bit around the local area um, so you've got Morgan Porth, which uh, Bedruthen Hotel is situated in, and then you also have Bedruthen Steps, which is just further up the north coast that way. Um, Morgan Porth is kind of like a cute little village with like local independent shops and stuff. There's a fish and chip shop, there's a bar, there's cafes, there's local clothes suppliers, and all sort of like little knickknacks and crafts and stuff. So there's lots to do in Morgan Porth. Well, there's a buffet breakfast here, but they said, do you want us just to bring you out a vegan platter? So he said, yes, please, and voila, how lovely is this? And it includes a very naughty, very warm chocolate muffin. Well, that was a very, very good breakfast, but we are slightly cutting it short because they have free yoga classes here, and we want to go to it, so we are going to go to our room, get changed, and then go downstairs. Well, I wasn't sure if I was gonna vomit after that breakfast that we had. That was a really good way to start the day. A nice yoga with this amazing view. Looking over the ocean, it was so peaceful. So recommend that if you do stay here. stone's throw from the hotel is Bedruffin Steps and it is a must do if you're in this area. It is absolutely beautiful. You can actually walk along the coastline here or you can drive just a few minutes along the road and it's a National Trust car park. It is a... <laughs> Go on. The landscape here and the sea stacks are iconic and there's a legend that Bedruffin the giant uses sea stacks as stepping stones to get over the water. at these huge sea stacks. It's such a unique landscape here. This stands out on a postcard. You know it's Bedruth and Steps. So this spot here is actually one of my favorite spots to come and have a little picnic or sit in the sun as it's slightly sheltered. And you have the most amazing view. But you did used to be able to walk down to the beach, but you can't anymore because the stairs have been damaged from rockfall and the storm, and it's still gonna be a while before they're up and running again. So unfortunately, you can't go down to the beach, but if you have a jet ski or a boat, you can get to the beach. Otherwise, this is the closest you're going to get. Very lovely, one of the most beautiful spots you can go and visit around this area. The other thing we should mention is there is parking right here at Bedruth and Steps. And if you've got some wearing a picnic, you can come right here to the tea rooms. There is toilets here as well. Grab a quick bite to eat before you carry on your adventure. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So a huge aspect of our stay here in Morgan Porth has just been slowing down, relaxing, and you just get such a sense of that staying here at Bed Ruffin Hotel. They've got so much wellness activities, whether it's arts or yoga or Tai Chi like we did this morning, and you just find yourself just staring out at the cliffs across the water. The scene is changing constantly. We've had sunshine, we've had rain, we've got clouds right now, and it's just a constantly evolving piece of art straight out your window. And if we turn our attention inside, you might have noticed this place is a little bit dinky. That's because it was designed in 1959 in the style of California desert houses. That's why there's all this square brick kind of architecture. It seems a little bit outdated now, but in the time it was very cool and they had a lot of Scandinavian furniture too. Because it's off season, it is so quiet here at the moment. The beach is pretty much empty. We've just seen some cafes and shops and they've got a lot of them kind of going through refurb or just waiting for the summer season to kick back in before they open up again. So we're just taking it really cruisy, going for a beautiful beach walk while we have a little break in the rain. It's so relaxing right now. There's definitely perks of coming here in the winter. So there's actually two places you can choose to eat here at the hotel. There's downstairs in the Herring restaurant and that's where we had the delicious free course menu. And there's upstairs in the Wild Cafe, a little bit more casual, but the food is just as good. We came here for lunch earlier, so we had to come out for dinner. Look at this. I can't wait to suck in. That's the end of our vlog here in Morgan Forth. We want to say a big thank you to Bed Ruthen Hotel and Spa for having us and making this happen. If you are looking for a rejuvenating, reinvigorating stay, then definitely check this place out. We'll leave a link in the description below. And if you like this one, leave a little like or leave a comment or subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow. And we will continue to show you more places around Cornwall and beyond. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.